Intense Russian bombardment in the east of Ukraine. All three bridges in a key city have now been destroyed. Fierce fighting is continuing in the east of Ukraine as Russia continues its advance into the country's industrial heartland. All three bridges leading into the embattled city of Severodonetsk have been destroyed, with authorities saying it's now all but cut off. Taking Severodonetsk and nearby Lysychansk would give Moscow control of the entire Luhansk region. Our correspondent Joe Inwood is monitoring events from the capital, Kiev. How much more of this can Severodonetsk take? Russian artillery is turning the old industrial city into a wasteland. There have been fears of it being cut off. The destruction of not one, not two, but all three bridges linking it to the rest of Ukrainian territory make that fear almost a reality. Could Severodonetsk be heading the same direction as the southern port city of Mariupol, once a thriving industrial center? which has now been utterly destroyed. The price of this battle is very high. It's just scary. We tell our partners on a daily basis that only a sufficient number of modern artillery will ensure our advantage and finally end the Russian torture of the Ukrainian Donbass. And that suffering is not just being felt on the front lines. This is the town of Bakhmut. 30 miles away from Severodonetsk, but still feeling the full force of Russia's artillery. It happened at night. We all went to bed. We are old people, you know. And then, all of a sudden, terrifying. Look what happened. There is nothing good happening here. And it's not clear how this will end. It's also not clear what military purpose is served by destroying apartment blocks. The Russians deny they hit civilian targets, but scenes like these have been repeated everywhere they advance. Putin's beasts, when will they be satisfied? Where should I go? Where will I sleep at night? And it's not clear if there will be more shelling, if there will be more bangs at night. People are afraid to sleep here. This is an artillery battle and a war of attrition. As Russia releases these shots, allegedly showing the destruction of Ukrainian military targets, including equipment delivered by the West, the Ukrainians say these are Russian rocket launchers being taken out by US supplied artillery. Who can resupply the fastest may be crucial not just for the Battle of Severodonetsk but the very future of Ukraine. Joe Inwood, BBC News, Kyiv.